Have you heard of kinesiology? Well, it's a great mind-body modality, and I'm going to speak to Sarah today, and she's going to tell us all about it. Hi, Sarah, how are you? Hi, I'm well, thanks. How are you? Very well, thank you. Sarah, can you tell me what is kinesiology? Kinesiology is a mind-body modality where we test responses from your body's muscles and because your muscles are hardwired to your brain, it gives us feedback on what might be placing a stress on us in our lives. Now this can be a stress physically, emotionally, biochemically, but also the muscle testing shows us where there are stresses in our meridian systems and these we use the meridian system model from traditional Chinese medicine. And so we test the body to find out where there are these imbalances and then find out for each individual person what specific stimulus do they need to help to bring their body back to a state of balance. And we know with all natural therapies that what we're doing is trying to bring the body back to a state of balance or homeostasis to put it in the best position to either heal itself or also put you in the best position to achieve your potential in life. And what are the origins of kinesiology? It has its origins in traditional Chinese medicine as well as modern chiropractic medicine. And so it's the understanding of the anatomy, physiology, pathophys from chiropractic, but also the understanding of the energy model from traditional Chinese medicine. These two uh, modalities were brought together by a, doctor, a gentleman called Dr. George Goodhart back in the 1960s. And he was trained in both of these fields and found that we could use the physical body to tap into these meridian systems and find out where there are imbalances. Can you walk me through what happens in a consultation? Because kinesiology is a communication modality as well as a, a body therapy, education and awareness for the client is really important. So we're going to spend the first portion of our session making sure that the client understands what kinesiology is, what is it they want to get out of the session, etc. Because it's really important that they can take away the tools to make change in their own life. Um, then the client will choose how they want to be, what position they want to be in to do the session. Some people like to sit, some like to stand, most people like to lie down though. So we get the client onto the table and then we make sure we're getting clear feedback from the body, so via the muscles, to the brain. So we're going to um, do some little things that we call pre-checks just to make sure we're getting clear feedback and then um, we will work through a series of different processes. You know they vary depending on the type of kinesiology that you're doing. They also vary depending on the outcome that the client wants from the session. So we can be doing anything in a session from rubbing acupressure points through to helping people deal with foods in a more effective way or finding out what foods or supplements are supportive for their body um, through to clearing subconscious behavioural programs to all sorts of things you know it's, it's really amazing no two sessions are ever the same because no two people are the same so it's it's very individualized for each person what are the things that kinesiology can help people with well Mel, we don't treat or diagnose in kinesiology so really what we're doing is helping to support the body to be in a better position to deal with these issues but with kinesiology people get results with everything from um, you know back pain headaches through to learning difficulties, behavioural um, imbalances, uh, digestive issues, uh, food sensitivities, all sorts of things. You know, kinesiology is amazing. Is kinesiology suitable for people of all ages? All ages, all nationalities, all spiritual beliefs. You know, it is an extremely holistic modality that I think everybody can really take something away because if we can all find out what is the trigger inside us that is causing stress, any kind of stress, physical stress, emotional stress, biochemical stress, spiritual stress, then it gives us a great insight to be able to um, connect in with what is the core of an issue. What else do you think people need to know about kinesiology? We work with a model in kinesiology called the triad of health, the triangle of health, and it shows that there's a very, very strong interaction between the physical, emotional and biochemical aspects of ourselves. And it's impossible to take those apart and treat them individually. So kinesiology is really very holistically treating each individual based on their needs. If somebody's looking for a local practitioner, mm -hmm. uh, how would they know if they're good or not? You know, what should they be looking for? Look, I mean, we're lucky in Australia because we have a number of great associations. I mean, there is a major association that governs all natural therapists called the Australian Traditional Medicine Society. But we also have two main um, kinesiology specialised associations. We have the Australian Kinesiology Association and the Australian Institute of Kinesiologists. And what having a practitioner who's a member of an association does is it gives the, the member of the public assurance that that person is, is trained and that that person has a, a, a solid reputation. Thank you so much for your time sure. Sarah. Thank you so much.